Hi everyone, Gareth at QC Tech here, just doing a quick video to show you how to add uh, shared user mailboxes to Outlook and Outlook Web or Outlook Web Access or uh, Outlook on the Web or whatever we call that now. Um, so you can see that we're in Outlook here, the uh, the app, the installed version of Outlook on the PC. Uh, we have my mailbox there, Gareth at QCTech.co.uk. And we have a couple of shared mailboxes down here that Outlook has automatically mapped and added those in for us. Uh, but I also want to open the mailbox of one of my employees. So the way that we do that, it's a little bit of a click, 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 click in, in Outlook. But we go to the file menu, settings and account settings again. We either single click and then click change or you can double click that. We go to more settings, advanced, add, type the name of the mailbox user you want to open here. So I'm going to open uh, books mailbox. So we click OK. And if you, if you, as I click OK, if you keep an eye down this left hand side here, you'll see the mailbox will appear almost immediately. He says, as I click OK here, I think is when it actually appears, sorry. And there we go. So that's now appeared here. Uh, so we finish on the settings here anyway, and we just click next and done and close. And that's it. So that user's mailbox is now here and we can drop into their email and see that there's a test email there from me, which is uh, super duper. So if you then wanted to remove that user's mailbox, so say for example, somebody's on annual leave or they're off sick and you've just opened this mailbox just to, to keep an eye on what's going on, uh, you'd think that you could right click and close. That doesn't work um, because of the way we've added it in there. That that doesn't actually work. So to remove that user's mailbox, unfortunately, we do have to go back through this little rigmarole account uh, file, account settings, account settings, open your account, more settings, advanced, remove. Are you sure you wish to remove this mailbox? OK. And again, if you uh, keep your eyes on the left hand side here. Boom, that user is gone. Next, done and close. Now, incidentally, if you had more than one primary mailbox open here, um, you would obviously, you would click on the one that you wanted to add. So for example, if you're doing work for more than one organization, um, you might have, you know, your name here and QC Tech, for example, and I wanted to open one for your company, I would click on the email address that's relevant to that uh, exchange uh, account. So that uh, company, okay. So we will now minimize that out of the way and we'll do the same thing, but in Outlook on the web. So we're in Chrome here. Um, it should be the same in pretty much any browser. Um, and what you have to do is it's, it's a case of, it's relatively straightforward here, but you just have to know where to click. So if you click right click here, uh, you don't get the correct option. If you right click down here, you get the option to remove shared mailboxes. You have to click up here where it says folders. And if you right click there, you can add a shared folder. And we'll add Book Rogers again. And there we go, you can see Book has appeared. And we can go and we can look at Book's email. And there's one unread. And you can do whatever you want in here. Uh, to remove the shared mailbox, right click remove and it's gone so uh, there you are so uh, a quick summary then to add in outlook web access it's dead easy you uh, if you right click up at the top of the screen where it says folders you can add a shared folder you can add that shared folder in you can then right click on the shared folder and remove it if you're in outlook it's a little bit more tricky um, you do have to go through the settings menu but it's still relatively straightforward particularly if you follow the video um, I hope that helps somebody out uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for listening. Bye now.